that does what's called downward rotation backwards this way it's actually making that problem worse again i would like to emphasize you shouldn't stretch your tendon problems it's not good Hi guys, Anjan Joy, Mr. Physio here. I've done two videos so far about shoulder impingement and the rotator cuff muscles. Today is the third one about supraspinatus, the victim of shoulder impingement. Okay, let's get it. Supraspinatus sits on top of the shoulder blade. So this is my left shoulder. There is a groove on top of the shoulder blade and then starting from here all the way to the tip of the upper arm bone so from here to there when it contracts just lifting your arm up like this okay so when you lift your arm up deltoid muscle is the one that does the most of the activity the primary mover of the upper arm bone is actually deltoid muscles so when the deltoid muscles lift your arm up the rotator cuff muscles pull the head of the humerus downwards again when the deltoid muscles pull your arm up, the rotator cuff muscles pull your head of the humerus downwards. Without this action, the humerus will definitely hit the undersurface of the acromion, which is shoulder impingement. That's why the rotator cuff muscles is so, so important. The rotator cuff muscles, including supraspinatus, actually fine-tune the movement. So if the rotator cuff muscles don't work properly, the supraspinatus on top of the shoulder blade will get pinched all the time every every time you lift your arm up that's why it's a victim of shoulder impingement if you keep irritating the muscle your muscle can get a little bit tensed up so it gets quite tight let's say when you watch boxing game so if one player keeps beating his opponent the person who's being hit keeps shrinking down like that shrinking down protecting himself like doing this kind of thing your muscle is the same it gets tensed up if you keep irritating the muscle on top of the shoulder blade Aww. so once it gets tight it also has a secret function so this tissue is your muscle attached like this if these muscles is getting tight in the middle that's pulling your shoulder blade out to the side this way Okay, so that does what's called downward rotation. So this is called upward rotation. The opposite movement is called downward rotation. But remember, in the first video of the shoulder impingement, I told you uh, your shoulder blade has to go out to the side every time you lift your arm up. Uh, without the shoulder blade movement, you get stuck at 90 degree. You keep hitting that uh, on the surface of the acromion, which is the tip of the shoulder. So to avoid that impingement, you have to be able to bring your shoulder blade out to the side like this way all the time every time you lift your arm up the shoulder blade goes out to the side like this way to assist the arm movement but now the supraspinatus tightens up in the middle that's giving the force to bring the shoulder blade out to the side this way inwards i mean we want that movement going out to the side but it brings your shoulder blade inwards that way to solve the problem, that muscle needs to learn how to lengthen up while generating power, which is called eccentric contraction. So that muscle is quite tight at the moment. So if it contracts, that's actually lifting your arm up. That's what it's meant to do. But uh, at the same time, it's actually bringing your shoulder blade out to the side if it does the normal contraction. So we want to teach it how to lengthen up while activating so that's activating and lifting your arm up at the same time that shoulder blade has to rotate out to the side has to do the upward rotation so this muscle has to elongate while activating hope that makes sense Now, I've done a few videos about tendon rehabilitation and this is also tendon problem. Tendons attaching your muscle to the bone and tendons don't like compression and stretching. So if you actually stretch out your muscle like that, so some people actually doing this kind of stretching or just uh, backwards this way, it's actually making that problem worse. Okay, so don't stretch on the tendon 
if you have a trouble. I will give you a very simple technique to loosen up and evidence-based strengthening exercises for the super spinners. To massage that muscle, you need to find this bony area. The shoulder blade sits like that. This is the tip of the shoulder here. And try to palpate along the bony area. But once you find the bone, you just bring your finger just a little bit on the top. So palpate the bone, bring your fingertips in there. So you have to press down like that, okay? So I find the bone first, bring my fingertips a little bit upwards, a couple of centimeter, and just press down. Yeah, from here all the way in and out. Or you can press down and just go side to side that way okay so about five seconds here or five seconds there and all the way about 10 centimeter about your shoulder width apart okay so that much all right so that's where I'm pressing down and next is different technique you activate the muscle while pressing down while massaging the muscle you just uh, activate the muscle okay press down onto the same spot and just lift your arm up about 45 degree out to the side in and out so initially maybe slowly and once you get better you can go a little bit higher when you do that palms pointing the ceiling palms up a few spots so maybe five times here one two three four five and maybe move on to the next one two so a few different spots maybe starting from here five times five times five times if you feel some areas tighter you just do more massage on those tighter spots and then we're gonna finish with eccentric contraction again i believe a lot of our muscles need to be trained in that way once they can do that they can do normal shortening lengthening exercise concentric and eccentric exercises at the same time that's called isotonic uh, but for now in rehabilitation your muscles normally really really tight so it's kind of forgotten how to be lengthened on the loading okay so i normally use this kind of loaded eccentric contraction at the beginning of the rehabilitation and then teach them how to you know shorten and lengthen while uh, generating power so your muscle gets shortened when you lift your arm up or when you lift your when you bring your arm down your muscle is being lengthened okay so we're going to use that muscle in that lengthening phase bring your arm out to the side a little bit forward about 30 degree forward like this and try to press down with the other hand while you're resisting with this right hand okay so resisting so your muscles are activated when you resist the left hand and slowly go down okay so in that way your muscles are activated and just lengthening as you bring your arm down push down with the left hand and the power is about 30 40 percent of your full power so don't push too hard and don't just bring your arm too quickly okay and nice and slowly so out to the side 30 degree forward just press down So you can do them about five times to start with and then just slowly build up 10 times 15 times two sets of 10 you know three sets of 10 15 even if you work at office you can just do some you know repetitions when you have like free time and if you have mastered the slow movement you can go a little bit quicker going down going up going down going up going down but still resisting with your hand if you can do the fast movement you can do some weight training okay so just going up and down going up 
and down one kilo weight or two kilo weight you just slowly build up according to EMG study this is the exercise where the most activation of the supraspinatus occurs so please apply and leave comments if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video about infraspinatus the most important muscle out of the four rotator cuff muscles 안전 좋아 thanks for watching